Hello everyone and welcome back to Zilanka. This is episode two and as you can see we are in the New Holland with the rollers attached because we are going to head over to the fields that we drilled last episode with barley to get them rolled and that should be the last thing we got to do for those fields except for spraying them with herbicide once the weeds start to come in. So here we are, and hopefully this will take care of the field stones as well. And I'm trying to think what else there really is to do in the month of September. I don't really want to be flying through the months, but if there's not much really going on, then it seems like that would be the best course of action. So here we go. It is a little tough to kind of see where we've been but it does seem to be taking care of the stones, which is great. There is a bit of a texture change that I can sort of see in the sun there a bit. So that's great. But I really do hope you all are enjoying this series so far. I know this is only episode two, but it was nice to talk again and, and be able to give some commentary. But I, I, uh, I think this is probably best suited for a time lapse. Not that I really want to hop into one so quick. But this um, isn't the most thrilling job. But it is one that is necessary. So let's hop into a quick one here. And we will move on to the next project. Which will likely be harvesting soybeans, I think. I think we'll move on to October and get those harvested. the final little bit of rolling and both of these fields are taken care of was thinking a little bit during the time lapse there about what the next step is and I I do think moving forward to October so we can get those soybeans harvested is probably the way to go the only other option we have would be that the grass field is hopefully ready to cut and maybe we can do that this episode just so we're not harvesting two episodes in a row. So why don't we, I think either way, let's move forward to October and let's see what the fields present to us. So let's take a quick look at the grass field over here. There we go, the uh, the barley has germinated, so it's looking lovely. But the trees look gorgeous in this map. Very cool, nice, nice uh, foliage. So yeah, I, I do think we can get a grass cutting session in, so why don't we pivot and go that way instead? So we are going to need a mower. Now let's see if we can luck out. And unfortunately, we don't have a mower in the sale. But let's see mowers. So. Could go that way with those two. Obviously, a setup like this would be nice, but we don't really have the money for something like that yet. 
4.4 and 3.2. I would love to get a front and side mower. I think we can go for this setup here and not be too in, in too bad financial position. Because we're going to be doing a lot of grass cutting. So we can eventually upgrade to something like this. Or eventually I would love to get the Samas or Samaz uh, setup because you can do the swath directly from the mower. But let's get the front piece as well. And we'll hop over to... Yep, I think the New Holland is going to be the tractor we're going to be in pretty often. And here we are at the store, and I just realized that I do have the front weight on, so maybe we could just temporarily store this here. We'll just have to remember that it is here. Maybe next time we come by with a tractor that has an empty linkage point, we can grab that real quick. Let's grab that. So the other thing we're going to have to definitely, I just knocked over those seed bags. Like a bull in a china shop. But so soybeans will definitely be ready next month. Matter of fact, let's just take a quick look at the map again. Yep, they've gone down to that dark green, which means they're one stage away. Barley looking lovely. I am excited to get sheep, though. I wasn't anticipating getting them in episode two, but here we are. So, we've got to unfold here. Fire these bad boys up. Beautiful. Definitely got some pretty good yield out of this grass. And honestly, it might have even grown a bit more. But I'd say that it looks pretty pretty high quality to me. I think we'll maybe just leave these mowers over here. So let me just turn on the triggers real quick. I just want to see... I always forget which menu these are in. I just want to see what... Alright. So, looks like... Food goes in here. I do have a, a mod downloaded... For, um, like an old, old style barn that we could put over here, but I don't really want to take up any grass area. So I think for now, we'll just drop these here. I mean, it's probably not the best thing to leave equipment out. Oop. So there we go, but. I guess we could have put them underneath the shelter, but I don't really want to, um, I'm not sure how much space we're going to need to drop things off and stuff. 
But there we go. We'll leave the mowers there. And now all we need is a windrow. And then we can... Maybe what we'll do is maybe put the windrowing on a worker. And then we can hop in the Massey and bail behind them. Here we go, perfect opportunity to pick up the weight that we dropped off last time. So hopefully the store owner wasn't too mad that we left it there. But let's hop into the windrow category, which are here. Ooh, that one's kind of nice, very expensive though. So this is usually the one that I go for. It would literally be all of our money. Um, we could lease a windrow this time around and then buy one next time. Maybe we'll be in a bit of a better situation. There is this one, which is 8.4. This one's 12. So I wonder, this might not be too, too bad. And we'd be able to buy this outright. Yeah, let's let's do it. So again, we'll hook up to the New Holland here. I do really like this tractor. Maybe a little first person driving view. I think I did a pretty fairly good job too with the farm layout and build. I'm happy with how it turned out. I'd like to own the two big fields that are behind our fields at some point. Fortunately, the fields aren't too expensive on this map, which is kind of nice. You know, some maps, it's there. The prices are absolutely wild. I would love to own this big grass area right here. Be good for productions, things like that. Yeah, actually, just out of curiosity, how much are those fields that are behind us? So, sixty-five and sixty-six. Oh, they're not too bad. 62,000. Oh, this one includes all of this, too. 143. Wow, I didn't anticipate that. That's a pretty big block of area there. But here we go with the windrow. Fire it up. Yeah, it's a it's a little it's a little on the small side, but for this size field, I think it's fine. I think the other one would have been nice, but it, it might have almost been not so much overkill, but just not completely necessary.
I think that's the last bale that we're going to get from this field. It has been really productive. And maybe one more, but that'd be pretty optimistic off this one last swath here, although it does build up pretty quickly. So let's see if we can get one more bale. This bale, this bale at the end here was mostly straw. Ooh, very close. All right, one more bale. Perfect. Cool. So we did build this shed here as well, which I think is great for all the lawn equipment since it'll be mostly down here anyways. And I think we'll include the baler in the um, in the shed as well. I don't think the New Holland is going to stay here. That was uh, just to get it out of the way for the most part. And this baler is very hard to back up. I don't know. Not that I'm uh, the most professional tractor backer upper, but I do have trouble with this baler for some reason. So let's disconnect. And I think we'll finish the episode by getting some sheep. So let's give them some food. I think we'll do two bales. Might as well just do these two right here. And then we'll pick up the rest of, oh boy. Come on now. Let's not uh, finish the off episode off with me <clears throat> struggling with some grass bales. That's the last thing anybody wants to watch. There we go. All right, and the Massey uh, picked that up pretty pretty easily, and that's without the back weight, too. So I'm pretty sure the bales go right here. Never use this... Um, You know, sheep barn before, but I assume that's where they go. Let's see, yep, the troughs did fill up. So let's buy some sheep friends. Um, I think we only have what? Tw yeah, twenty-four thousand. So if we buy the more expensive sheep or sheep, sheep's is not a word. You know, let's go with the cheaper ones. It won't be as hurtful on our bank account. And let's get... Let's get 30 of them. Bye. Yes. And there we go. Hooray! We have sheep. So, I do think that we're going to end the episode on that note with some new sheep friends here on the farm and um, next time we'll pick up all these grass bales that we got and uh, we'll move on to the next project so until then I hope you all have a great rest of your day and have a good one